are we at peace? You know what I mean? Do we got real people around us? Mm -hmm. All those things weren't happening for me. I was basically like getting up every day, playing this role. Well, guys, it seems like we are finally getting more juicy bits on what it felt like having Deanie as a wife. And according to Jeezy, it wasn't the most pleasant ride for him. In his long-awaited statement about the divorce, Jeezy might have just hinted that he had been carrying a whole lot of weight on his shoulders in this relationship. And that's Jeannie's horrible character that made him file for divorce so quickly. We all know that marriage involves some sacrifices, but it looks like Jeezy might have been doing the lion's share of giving up. Now, the Atlanta rapper isn't keeping quiet about it anymore, and he's sharing with the world why it was an insufferable burden for him to stay with Jeannie under one roof, and he's spilling the details no one saw coming. I've had to sit back and not say nothing about a lot of things, but this is my story, my life, my perspective. Well, ever since the divorce news hit the headlines, it looked like Jeezy was happy to get away from this married life with Jeannie. Now, after new details emerged, it's clear that his exit from this union seems less about freedom and more about saving his mental health, and living with Jeannie was more like a nightmare than a paradise. Now, this might not be a big deal if Jeezy was just an average guy, but this man's got a life story that's as turbulent as a hurricane. He's had enough of ups and downs in his life to put anyone else above his mental health, and as he says now, Jeannie's nasty demands and behavior weren't actually contributing to a healthy environment, and he made up his mind to leave her for good. That's as deep as I was willing to go. Uh, to, to maintain my integrity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, as Insider claimed, Jeezy tries to limit his interaction with his soon-to-be ex-wife, although they still live under the same roof in the rapper's house. As this Insider claimed, Jeezy and Jeannie are still living together in Georgia, but there's very little interaction going down between them. They cross paths as they come and go from the house, but that's about it. Well, talking about determination to sever all ties with a toxic ex, Jeezy doesn't think twice, and apparently he's on the way to heal from his past traumas and get rid of all toxic people in his life. So sad that one of these personas is the woman he's been married to. You know, I don't, I don't want that energy in my new life. All right, for those living under a rock, let's catch you up to speed on the Jeezy and Jeannie divorce trauma. So right before his 46th birthday, Atlanta-based rapper Jeezy filed for divorce from TV personality Jeannie after just two years of marriage. He dropped the bombshell on September 14th, leaving both fans of the couple and especially his wife in total shock. As one source close to the couple claimed, the problems have been brewing long before the rapper filed for divorce. However, Jeannie never accepted him to take such a radical step. Things haven't been great between Jeannie and Jeezy for a few months, but she is still very surprised that he filed for divorce. So it seems like Jeezy basically went behind his wife's back and it was one-sided decision. Apparently, even after that, the rapper didn't exactly have a heart to heart with Jenny about the divorce. But now it's been more than two weeks and we finally get more details on what he had been through on a daily basis in this marriage. I gotta be honest. Like, I don't know how to connect with that. Right, and that, that's something that I'm working on. Even before Jeezy went all candid about the ups and downs of his married life, people were speculating about what could have possibly prompted the rapper's hand and file for divorce from such a lovely lady. Well, apparently, Jeannie might have pushed Jeezy away with her repulsive nature without even realizing that she's being plain toxic in this relationship. So, after more than two weeks of suspicious silence and cryptic messages on Instagram, Jeezy seems to be dropping some hints that Jeannie might have been the issue in their marriage. Well, a lot of people have foreseen this outcome because it's obvious that Jeannie was a walking red flag even on camera. As one person commented, I bet she was rude and nasty to him and she didn't know how to treat him. The man got tired. And another user added, this chick double talks so much that she can't keep up with her lies. While the couple remains silent on the reason of their split, it seems like Jeezy is ready to spill the beans and be more honest with the world about the struggles he had been through in his short-lived marriage. Because you don't want to do nothing to him because you love him. Uh, mm -hmm. People lying to you, you know, uh, the manipulation. As Jeezy said, him dealing with mental health issues played a significant role in his decision to call it quits with Jeannie. Apparently, he was trying hard to save his marriage, but in the end, it seems he couldn't keep it together. And choosing between living on a roller coaster with Jeannie or having some peace of mind, he chose himself and doesn't want to look back. On his Instagram, he posted a rather cryptic message, giving his soon-to-be ex-wife no chance for reconciliation. He wrote, too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me, which fans quickly deciphered as a direct jab at Jeannie. Turns out their struggles had been going on for a while, but the real ex-host had been trying to keep up the facade of a perfect family. However, as we all know, even the darkest secrets will eventually come to the light, and this happened to be the case for Jeannie. I know, I would never ever normally keep secrets from my fam. But apparently, there was something she wanted to keep away from Jeezy. And that's, for instance, her nasty and ugly side, which she started to reveal only after they tied the knot. 
It seems like Jeannie couldn't let go of her bossy nature, even though she admitted she wanted to submit in this relationship and let her man be the lead. As she said right before jumping into her second marriage with the rapper, I'm a very dominant woman. I own my business. I lead my teams. I played my own manager, my own publicist, my own lawyer when I didn't have money to have those people. When I come home, I like the idea that my man leads us. But things might have gone from bad to worse for Jeezy and Jeannie. And there's a lot to unpack here. First off, it seems that Jeannie's constantly put some pressure on Jeezy to keep up with the standard she set for her fans. You know, the whole picture. Perfect romance thing can be quite the heavy load to carry. I don't know what God thought was funny, but he had me working with Mario Lopez, seeing him every day at Extra. Apparently, the second divorce doesn't look so nice for her public image, and Jeannie has been quietly working to salvage her ruined marriage. She is reportedly investing considerable effort into healing the rift and finding common ground, demonstrating a commitment to preserving the bond they once shared. As one insider claimed, it doesn't work since her motives weren't pure since the start. She got married to stay married and is committed to trying to save her marriage. Now, it seems like the whole picture become more clear and it wasn't the healthy union with Jeezy that Jeannie was looking for, but a man who could put a ring on her finger. Additionally, there have been whispers that Jeannie might have cheated on Jeezy with none other than Mario Lopez. Yep, you heard it right. The TV hosts and longtime friends were accused of having an affair behind their spouses' backs. It all started when fans noticed some chemistry and closeness between them on screen. And let me also remind you that Jeannie once confessed that Mario Lopez was her high school celebrity crush. Talking about temptation, right? Well, it didn't actually help that Mario himself was fueling the whole story, and he even liked some comments on Instagram that suggested he and Jeannie were more than just friends. However, sources close to Jeannie and Mario have denied the rumors, saying they are just good friends and nothing more. But it seems like everyone close to Jeannie knew that there was something between them that you never share with your husband. You guys have known from season one, I'm always honest <sighs> about yeah. things we struggled through. I was real, man, sometimes too real for everybody to have an opinion about, but... Apparently, there's a lot of darkness and repulsive traits inside this lady, and no wonder that she doesn't match Jeezy's idea of a happy future. But no matter how sad it's to see this beautiful family falling apart, fans have no sympathy for Jeannie and her sorrows because it was obvious from the start that she can't keep a man. As one person commented, he'd take a woman just divorce, marry quick what he think was going to happen. And another user added, Jeannie dated married and had a child with Jesse to repay and hurt her ex-husband for their failed marriage. Well, it seems like this roller coaster of rumors and drama in the world of these two ex-lovebirds is only speeding up. And before it reveals its wildest turn, I have a million dollar question to ask you. Do you think Jeannie was actually that bad as a wife as Jeezy pictures her? And was her marriage to the rapper just a revenge for her ex? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. Well, that's it for now.